Pea leaf weevils are a pest of peas and fava beans, so they do seem to prefer favas. They were first identified in Manitoba two years ago, and we're trying to track their distribution in the province now. In spring, I shared a map of where they were found in 2020. Since then, we found them in another six areas. And I do expect that they're in other areas too, so I want to encourage farmers and agronomists to take a look for pea leaf weevils. The other reason to scout for them in the fall is that one of the more effective management tools is seed treatments, and you can't make a decision on if a seed treatment will be economical unless you know that you have the right weevil and at population levels that will make that treatment worthwhile. So following harvest in peas, check the sprouted harvest losses or regrowth areas. Look for notches along the edges of the leaves. If you are finding those, look for weevils either on the plant or on the soil near the base of the plant. They are tough to spot, so it's a bit of a game of I spy. They also might freeze or play dead. We do need to capture the weevils to get a positive ID that they're the pea leaf weevil, since there are other, several other weevil species out there causing the same leaf notching damage. However, only the pea leaf weevil will affect pea and fava bean yields since it's their larvae that feed on the root nodules below ground. So after capturing the weevils, we typically put them under a microscope to see if they have the characteristics. So here's two side-by-sides. One's the alfalfa curculio, which we have found a lot of this year, compared to the pea leaf weevil. So it's important that we actually take that step under the microscope. Late season pea leaf weevil scouts and fava beans are a bit easier since you can sweep net for them. They like to feed on the top of the plant, so this is an easy way to catch them. Population estimates this fall might be indicative of your risk in your region next spring. Weevils will fly in the spring, so know that they can disperse pretty well throughout your area. Inside that sweep net, I've mostly caught aphids, there's some green lacewings here, as well as lagus bugs, but we do have quite a few little pea leaf weevils crawling around. So we capture those to put them under the microscope. If you're capturing weevils, feel free to give us a call here at MPSG or John Gowalski at Manitoba Agriculture.